Hello everyone. This is the continuation video on cordless data engineering on GCP. So in our previous video, we have seen how we can be able to create the data stream and then we can make use of the cloud storage. So here, next step is that we need to create one PubSub notification on this cloud storage bucket. So whenever the data is getting uh, captured and it is just uh, transfer from the SQL to the cloud storage using the data stream, it should send one notification to the data flow. Okay, that is again one service of the GCP. So this PubSub notification will be helpful for providing the change data notifications event from the bucket. So how we can create the PubSub topic? To create the PubSub topic, what we need to do, we need to go to the cloud bucket over here. And as we know, this is our uh, data SRC is our source bucket. So we need to create the notification from here. To create the notifications, we need to activate the cloud cell. So you see these options, activate cloud cell. You can click on this one. It will activate a cloud cell for you, okay? And uh, on this cloud cell, you can be able to execute the commands which will be basically helpful for creating the pub sub notification so as we are seeing now that uh, this cloud cell is activated now from this cloud uh, cell we are going to create the pub sub notification so how to create the command uh, notification to create the notifications, basically we are having the gsutil command, which we are going to make use to create the notification, gsutil notification, create minus t, then the notification name, you can give any name, I am giving the name as the database completion, okay because it will take the notification from the database capture itself. Then you can choose any name. Then the format will be the JSON and on which bucket we are going to create the notification. To get the information about the bucket, how to get it? So this is my bucket, okay. What you have to do? You have to click on that and uh, copy the path of that bucket, which will be prefixed with a gs command okay so this will be a gs colon colon will come to this bucket and how to get the bucket path so you can click on this copy and then you can paste over here okay so this is the no command now hit enter once you hit enter it will be asking you to authorize so you can authorize this one after authorization within within few seconds it will create the notification pop sub notification okay we'll wait for that okay so you can see it is saying created cloud pop sub not uh, topic that is this is the topic name database one completion and the notification is also getting created now you want to see uh list it then again you can make use of this uh, gsutil command that is known as the gsutil notification list okay then you need to provide the bucket on which bucket you want to list it okay this will it will give you the complete information about this one so you can see this is the project information and it is the topic information so the same thing you can be also be able to verify it from the PubSub topic. So this is the PubSub. Okay. You can get it by searching it from this central search bar. Now you can refresh this one to get the information about the PubSub. Okay. If you are not able to get it the information by refreshing over here, you can reload this page itself because this page was open earlier. So and after that we had created so we can reload this one once this page will be successfully reloaded you can be able to see the topic information over here and it is saying the database one the topic so what 
the next step. So we can click on this topic name. Okay. And uh, here we can see these are the different informations like the subscriptions, snapshot, matrix, details, manage messages that is not required for us now. What we need to do now, next step is to create one subscription. So how to create the subscription? So this is the create subscription option over here. You can click on this one. And here it will ask you certain details like the subscription IP, ID. Okay. So how to get the uh, subscription ID and other things. So you can give the name like this one. So data flow, data flow database one sub the subscription name. Okay. This is the topic name, which we had already created. The delivery type will be full and rest of the things will be as it is. No need to modify anything. Only you have to give the name. Okay. Subscription ID. Once you able to do it, all these are the not required field for us. Okay. So we will create on this create. Once you hit this create button, it will create the subscription for you. Okay. That we will be further used uh, using it when we are working with the data flow. So now you can be able to see that we are uh, seeing the sub subscription name and the topic name and it is saying the activated okay so what it will be the next step so as per our pipelining concept we had to work with the data flow okay so how to create with the data flow uh, that will be uh, covering into the next uh, video